Hello and welcome to lesson 1.1 of how to register your domain name. So I'm just going to quickly go through what we'll be covering in the video that follows after these slides, um, just to give you an overview of what you can expect. So first of all, I'm going to be looking at uh, where it is that you can register your domain name. So there are a number of registrar registrars online um, that you can choose between. And I'll just kind of go through a couple of them and explain to you why I picked the one that I use um, and give you those reasons. We're going to look at the pricing, how much you're, it, you should expect to pay more or less to register your domain name. It's going to vary um, depending on how popular the, the name might be. And also just give you a heads up on, heads up on how they uh, might offer you a discount to begin with. Uh, so you need to kind of look at, dig a bit deeper to see what you'll be paying as an ongoing cost. Um, I just talked briefly about the interfaces between the different registrars and then step by step on how to register your domain name. And that's it. It's a pretty straightforward lesson to start with. But, you know, it's the foundation of everything you're going to do. So I just wanted to make sure that you feel confident doing this before we move on through the course. Okay, let's talk about picking your domain name. Um, there's a number of sites, a number of places online that you can purchase your domain name. Uh, the one I recommend is this one, it's called namecheap.com. To be honest, it doesn't make a massive difference which one you go for, because this is just the place where you're going to purchase your domain name um, and you're going to Ideally, what I would recommend is have your hosts hosting somewhere else. So if you look at some of the big websites like um, HostGator or um, GoDaddy, they'll offer, well, they'll allow you to purchase the domain name with them and then also get your hosting um, in the same package. It's really a good idea just to keep those two things separate. Um, you don't want one company to have complete control over your entire online home. So it's just good practice. Use someone, use one company to purchase your domain name. Use a different company to purchase your um, hosting. So let's talk about why you might go for Namecheap over someone like GoDaddy, for example. Um, let's look at their pricing. Uh, so choose your name. So what, if, uh, what most of these uh, guys do is they'll give you a discount for the first year on the domain name that you pick and then they raise those prices as an ongoing um, expense. So just sort of uh, do your research and have a look, but generally Namecheap come out on top, um, although they might not offer the best discount for the first um, year that you purchase your domain name or even for the first two years. But if this is a long-term plan, if this is your long-term business and you're going to be um, having this recurring expense every year, you'll probably find that over the long term, name cheap, name cheap sorry, are cheaper. Don't get sucked in too much by these um, as low as amounts because quite often they are for weird uh, extensions on the end. Um, what you ideally want to do is to get uh, a .com or a .com com.au or a .co.uk specific to your region if if you're um, running a more local business. So ideally you want to go for that standard um, extension. So in terms of price, Namecheap generally come out on top. Now another um, reason that you might, might decide to go for these guys over one of the other big name players like GoDaddy is that their layout and their interface is much more um, user friendly. GoDaddy is very cluttered, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Um, Namecheap have got a lovely modern website design and I'll just log in in a moment into my account and you can just have a look at the interface in there. Okay so here I am in my dashboard so as you can see there's just it's quite easy to navigate so I'll just click on here and it gives me a list of all my current um, domain names. Um, to go in to manage them I just click this button here and uh, it's really easy to do the things I need to do. If I want to redirect it, I can do it here. Um, the name servers, I can just, um, you can change through here, through custom DNS. Now if that's all a bit technical, don't worry, we'll be coming back to that later. 
But the fact is that when you're setting up your website and moving it to your host, you need to be able to find these things. And so when they're buried down under lots of different confusing links and um, they're using it as an excuse to try and hijack that um, real estate on their website to sell you something else to give you an upsell, which is what the hosts like GoDaddy tend to do, um, it just becomes a very frustrating experience. So having it all here neatly laid out when you um, get to the point where you, you need to find your name service, it's really easy to find it. It's, it's there front and center. You don't even need to know what it is um, to be able to find it and to follow instructions on what to do. So in terms of the interface, uh, Namecheap definitely comes out on top. Okay, so let's just quickly run through how you would purchase a domain name. So if we go back to their home page, um, type in your domain name that you're thinking of buying. I'm going to use just my name because chances are that's not taken. Okay, and we can see here at the top, kathytopping2.com is available at 14. These are Australian dollars, $14 a year. And then it gives me all these other options. So you can see here, um, I can get .xyz for $1.15, um, .club, .online. I just would not recommend going for any of these um, extensions. If you can't get your name as a .com, I would think about looking for a different name. Um, if, you know, you're at the point where you're starting from the very beginning. Um, so this is a decision you can make now, and I would recommend uh, keep keep pushing through and trying to get um, the d a domain name that works really well for your business. Okay, so I'm going to go for this, kathytoppy2.com. You just add it to your cart. Okay, view cart. And then here you can set it up um, to either auto renew every year or you can buy a few years um, up front. There is there can be some benefit for having your domain name registered for a long time. It can give it a bit more authority in Google's eyes, but um, you know, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Up to you, depending on what you know, your budget, how much money you've got right now. If you just want to do for one year, see how you go, or um, and set it up to auto renew, they will normally send through an email as well, reminding you um, that your renewal is coming up. I would leave that auto renew on because the last thing you want to do is let your domain name expire um, because somebody else might see that you're, it's valuable to somebody, i.e. you, snap it up and then hijack it and try and sell it back to you for an inflated price. So um, for that reason, it's possibly a good idea to, to purchase a few years up front or if not, or either way actually, definitely leave the auto renew button on. WhoGuard is um, a way of protecting your identity, so they give you a, the first year for free and then in the following years it, they're going to charge you a nominal fee. Um, if we just click here, as you can see what that means, it gives you total anonymous, anonymity and privacy for your most important information. So you're going to have to provide your um, address and uh, you know other sort of personal details as part of the, the process of purchasing your domain name. And if you don't want people to be able to just find that information out by doing quite a simple um, internet search, you provide this who, who is guard and that, um, that, private, that information is made private and it can't, isn't um, readily available on the internet. Now, all these upsells down here, just ignore them. I would not worry about any of that um, because I would recommend what we're going to do is you're going to get your hosting somewhere else. So. Um, Email comes with your hosting, so you don't need to worry about that. You can add your own Gmail, all this kind of stuff you can do yourself. Um, SSL, again, is something that you can um, work out when you set up your hosting. And this build and promote your website that they like to sort of tempt you with, don't touch it with a barge pole. You're going to create your own custom website. You don't need this sort of sub par website builder that they're trying to offer you here so literally all you want to do is purchase your domain get your who, who is guard normally it's free for the first year confirm your order um and then you're off you know it's uh it's just quite a simple payment via paypal and once you've done that you are the proud owner of your domain name for your business